What the hell did you tell Jesse? Why? What happened? Kendall could be in a great deal of trouble because of you. All right, listen. I came to town. I slept with Zach. Sue me. I liked him. That's why I told you that I saw Kendall with a gun. I just, I wanted to get rid of her. You're a bitch. Oh. And you are under arrest. What? You have the right to remain no, silent. You can't arrest me. You say you can't arrest me. Can't you can't arrest me. You can't arrest me. You can't arrest me. No, I you have the right statement. to an attorney. You she wasn't at the house one. with one the gun. What's going on here? Stop what it. What is it's going it. on here? Kendall is under arrest for the murder of your brother. She, she lied to you about what she saw that night. Liza lied. I mean, should, should that surprise anyone? What did you do, Liza? Did you, what did you tell Jesse? Well, it doesn't matter anymore. It does if you were lying about Kendall to cover up that you murdered Uncle Stuart. Colby, I didn't murder anyone. Then what were you doing there that night? Colby, come on. Oh, please, please, Jesse, why are you doing this to me? Zach has already confessed. Because all the evidence points to you, Kendall. <laughs> Jesse, could you just leave? This day is difficult enough without all this going on. Yeah, that's right. Come on, Dad, let's get inside. No, you stay away. You are not a part of this family anymore. Colby, think about what Uncle Stewart would have wanted. Marion's going to need all the support that she can get, and that includes Liza. I admit I wanted to kill Adam. I was there, but I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't go through with it. I mean, you, you talked to Ryan. I mean, he, he must be able to, to, to back up my story. Yeah, I talked to Ryan. It's one of the reasons I'm here. Your stories don't match up. Jesse already had a witness. A witness who saw her? Who? He wouldn't tell me. So I admitted that I saw Kendall at the grounds that night. Before or after the shooting? Before we heard the shot together. Well, Kendall told Jesse that it wasn't until after the shooting that you two got together. So which is it? Which is the version that's the truth, Ryan? Kendall's is the truth. Then why did you lie for her? Because, Erica, I was trying to protect her. I didn't think that Jesse would hold me until he talked to her. You know, he's never done anything like that. I thought I could see Kendall and we could get our story straight. Why is he doing this? Why, why would he let this go? You know, Zach confessed. He said he was in it alone. Why would I just back off? Because already? he's a smart cop. And he knows that something isn't right. <sighs> did you lie for Kendall because you think she did it? I lied because I wanted to avoid exactly what she's going through right now. What about you? Do you think she killed Stuart? I have no idea what happened. But you know me better than to ever think that I would condemn Kendall. But I do know how much she loves her boys. And when she thought that Ian had died, all because of Adam's greed. I mean, I have no idea where her mind went. I do know that she and Zach were both crazy with grief. And neither one of them capable of just about anything. Well, wouldn't you have been? Yeah. Have been Spike or Emma? Yes. Absolutely. That's why I said what I said. Well, you still haven't answered my question. Do you think that Kendall did it? No. I don't. And I'm not going to let her go down for any of it. So if you have any doubts... No, you know that I will stand by my daughter no matter what. And if anyone deserves to pay for this, it's the person who deserves to be behind bars. Someone like Liza Colby. Liza is back? Yes. And she just happened to reappear the night that Stuart was murdered. She was there. She was in the mansion. Her own daughter thinks that she pulled the trigger. Well, does Jesse know all that? Yeah, he does. He knows. But whether or not he has any evidence beyond the fact that she was there, that I don't know. But I'm going to fill him in on the battle royal that was Adam and Liza's marriage. Oh, God, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jesse, you let her go right this minute. You do know that the two of you brought this on yourself, lying to me, doing a murder investigation, and then you tell me two completely different stories that... 
kind of screams, somebody's guilty. Not only that, it also pisses me off, I Ryan. was scared for her, Jesse. I tried to protect her. It doesn't mean that she did it. Funny thing about people who lie to you, then turn right back around and admit that they lied. All of a sudden, you can't believe a thing they say. So sit down, shut up. Wait your turn. Jesse, she didn't do it. Erica, I don't need your A-list drama. There right are now. suspects out there, real suspects. Look at them. Look at Liza Colby. Mom, mom, you're wasting your breath. Okay, Liza's been working everyone, including Jesse and Zach. Zach? What did she do to Zach? You don't want to know. She's the reason I'm in handcuffs. There's enough evidence and witnesses out there for me to do this, no matter how much I hate it. Well, you're wrong, Jesse. And you're going to be proven wrong, and it's going to be a huge embarrassment for you if you do this. Erica, would you like to be arrested, too? Yes, go ahead. Arrest me. Don't try me. Okay, Mom. Okay? Mom, please, go to the funeral. Be there for Stuart. Please go. I'm okay. I'd like to see Ryan, just for a minute. There was no doubt that Christmas was Uncle Stewart's favorite holiday. Every year you'd find him selling Christmas trees to raise money for the AIDS charity that he put in Cindy's name. One year I went to visit him at the Christmas tree lot and he wanted to show me this gift box that he had found that was sitting under one of the Christmas trees there. And he insisted that it was a magic box. And he was right. It was magic. He asked us all to wish for what we thought was inside, not for ourselves, but for someone else. And I think that's the most magical Christmas I'll ever have. Because what was really in that box was all the good that Uncle Stewart saw in every single one of us. My uncle had an amazing way to get people to believe in possibilities, to believe in themselves. Because he believed in all of us. In fact, not one person who was lucky enough to be in the presence of my uncle would walk away without feeling better about themselves, about their lives, about just being alive. I know that you're really not gone, Uncle Stewart, because you'll always be there. Standing over my shoulder. Smiling, that smile. And whispering in my ear. And reminding me that life isn't just some stupid box. But a box that's filled with hope and faith. And most of all, magic.